Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat and another totally awesome Python programming turtle video. On this one, we're going to be using random RGB colors. So as you can see here, we're going to learn how to make random numbers in Python with the Python interpreter, which is going to help us out in later projects like we do dice rolling. But once we know how to make random numbers, we can actually make random colors appear. So suddenly the turtle just goes all these different colors and we'll get kind of interesting results from that. So let's get into it and get on with it. So we will be doing this and you need to have done lessons one to five uh, before this because they build all on each other. So you need to know about RGB colors which we did in the previous lesson. So you at least need to have done RGB colors but all the other ones as well. And these are the two main drawings we're going to make in this lesson. So we're just doing a, about two drawings just to learn uh, about, about random numbers in kind of a fun way. So remember YouTube's just where the videos are. If you go to passyworldofict.com and then click on the Python button up the top uh, that will take you into the lesson so you can work out what the lessons are and what order you should be doing them in and we'll just go across to that now and we'll check it out. Okay so here we are uh, at Passy's World of ICT and we'll just flick across to the Python page here. So that's your home page you can look up Passy's World of ICT on Google get to the Python programming page which looks like this. And as you go down, it shows you the lesson. So obviously you need to have done the first lesson so you know PyScript or you need to know PyCharm or MU or whatever Python IDE you're using. And then you need to have done all of these sort of drawing shapes and filling them in colors, making multiple shapes by lifting the pen up and down, how to do these uh, kind of patterns because we're going to be taking these plain um, repeating patterns and we're going to turn them into kind of random colored patterns, all right? And uh, using RGB colors, you need to have done that lesson, okay? So you need to have gone through and done all these in order to have your skills up to the point where you can now do this one, uh, random RGB colors. And then finally, our next lesson uh, will be coming up, the one that everyone's been waiting for, the rainbow colors. But you need to kind of uh, know about this RGB colors and random numbers and everything first. Then that will be kind of, I think that'll be our final lesson in the Turtle uh, graphic series that teaches you Python by having fun making great colored pictures and things. All right, so the learning objective for this lesson. Uh, in this random colors lesson we're going to learn, we're going to review the use of the RGB color values which we learned in the last lesson. Uh, we're going to have while and for loops that are an extremely important part of computer programming and we'll be doing more of those. Uh, we have to convert our random number uh, into strings so that we can get it on the output display and I think we might have done that in the last lesson but we'll certainly be doing string conversion again in this lesson. But the whole point of uh, doing this, not so much making the two drawings we're going to make but the main thing is to learn random numbers in Python because once you've learned the random numbers in Python uh, if we want to make some games later on like a paper rock scissors game uh, the computer can randomly choose whether it's going to be paper rock or scissors by using random numbers we're going to be making a number to guess uh, a number between 1 and 10 that the computer has in its memory uh, you'll need random numbers for that for the computer to pick the number uh, make a rolling dice program because we need random numbers between 1 and 6 for a dice. Uh, you can also randomly position objects on a screen using random numbers and we can randomly choose which player goes first in a two-player game. So they're just some of the use of random numbers. They are so extremely important especially if you want to get into games programming to add variety and make things happen. So that's like a really important thing to learn from this lesson even if you don't really make liking the drawer, if you don't sorry like making the drawings. Okay so that was our spiral from a previous lesson so you need to have done that one to have that spiral picture and we're going to change things a bit and have this random sort of uh, spiral picture. Now really the sort of monocolor one here makes the spiral look a much more distinctive. This kind of looks like a stack of colored little sticks that have all been dropped in a heap on top of each other. But look, that's not the real thing making this picture. The real thing is just learning about random numbers and how we used random number generation to get random colors to make that pile of sticks. And I'm sure the final lesson in our series, the next one, you'll enjoy a whole lot better where we make the rainbow colors. But this is a step along the way to doing that. Uh, there is a challenge task. The challenge task is to take our tube that 
we made, that spiraling kind of tube shape from a previous lesson. So you need to have done the previous lesson and have that program so that then we can just make the tube out of all these different randomly colored circles that we didn't choose. Uh, the computer just randomly chose them and came up with what it thought would be a good idea. All right, so let's jump across to the PDF instructions document and get through this lesson. All right, so when you get the downloads for this lesson, you get these step-by-step -step instructions, which is great if your school doesn't allow YouTube or they're not um, keen or they don't let you watch YouTube videos in class. You can just use these step-by-step -step instructions. So with going through there, what we're doing, which we've already talked about. Now the program to make random numbers, how you generate random numbers in Python is as we're showing you here in this program. So let's just zoom in a bit so we can see that. So the first thing is you have to import the random numbers module. So remember when we were going to do a turtle um, drawing program, we had to have import turtle to bring in all those turtle forward and write commands. You have to import random to bring in the random number commands. So that's just something at the top of the program. And then we'll set our first random number to be a number between zero and 255 because they're our RGB color numbers, which we learned in the previous lesson. How you format it and write the code in Python is R, which is going to be our random number, equals random dot random int. So we want a whole number, an integer whole number like one, two, three, four, five, between zero and 255. All right. Now, before we can put the R value onto the screen to see what value the computer actually picked um, with this print statement. Uh, that's just printing the words random number between 0 and 255 is. But remember, you have to do like an ST R brackets R because this random number will be kind of be in that like that 10011 binary notation, which you can't display on the screen. So to get it back to a normal kind of, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 number that we can put on the screen, you have to use this str brackets function. Okay, random number two, we're just going to generate, show you that it does negative numbers as well. So we're going to get a random integer between negative 10 and negative 1. So we'll get negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, blah, 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 negative 2, and negative 1. And we want, again, we want to just print that on the screen and see what it, the computer picked. And our last random number here, number three, will be like if we're rolling a dice, we want to get a number between one and six. So this will get the computer to randomly choose a number between one and six by using r3 equals random dot random int one comma six. So it picks a number between one and six and we'll see on the screen what it is. So when you run it a few times, this is what you get. So the random number this first run between 0 and 255, it actually chose a low number of 10. For negative 10 to negative 1, the computer chose negative 9. But notice in the next one, it chose negative 1. So you can see these numbers are changing. For the dice rolling number, that R3 value, it chose 2 here. It's chosen 5 here. The dice was 4 there. And it was 2 again down here. All right. So you can see that it is changing the numbers that it's choosing. We're getting all three of our random numbers output here, R1 just R was the first one, then we had R2 and R3. So that's all happening and that's all working perfectly. So that is how you do a random number. So later on when we're doing the dice program, you could come back to this one to see how the random number generator works and how you can just code it with one line of code in um, Python, which is really nice and easy. Now, as we said, we can use that random number generation in other projects we're going to be making later on. So we're now going to check out that random numbers and use it for our spiral squares. So you need to have done uh, lesson four, the previous one on the RGB colors. And we had this spirals loop here where we're moving the turtle forward and making it tilt slightly. And that gave us our yellow colored spiral. And what we're going to do is put this random uh, generating number in there. So remember with RGB, you need three values, one for the red. So we're just calling our variable here, red amount equals random rand int. So I'll pick a number for the amount of red. Green amount, it'll pick how much green between zero and 255. And the blue amount, it'll pick an amount for blue to be. And that will pick a specific color when we have those three different color numbers, the red number, the green number, and the blue number. Now remember, you have to change your turtle color mode to 255 to tell it you're using RGB numbers like we did in the previous lesson. And then we just get our pen color set up as turtle.penColor is the red amount number, comma, the green amount number, which was randomly generated, comma, the blue amount number that was randomly generated. So 
At the beginning of the repeats loop, before we even do our next kind of square, we're just setting up what color it's going to be, and then we can move our turtle forward and we can um, rotate it right. Okay, so this is for making each line of each side of the square is going to be a different color that's going to be randomly picked using this random number code in here. So that's kind of like all there is to it, really, just adding this in straight under the current while repeat counts is less than 300. And that should change it so that you get um, random colors. So here's like two different runs where we got two different sets of random colors in our square spiral, all right? So uh, that's it pretty much for what you need to do with random colors. Uh, pretty quick and short and simple this lesson. So the challenge task is we had that spiraling tubes project from a previous lesson. Here's the code for it. And down in here where we're drawing a circle each time, in this spot here is where you need to add that same sort of random color generating code so that before it does a circle, it's going to pick a random color to do that circle in. And what will happen is it used to all be one color and we did it in the previous um, project in here. I'm not sure if you can see it didn't come out too well pasted into this document, but they're all the different colored circles that the computer is just randomly picking some color to make the circle instead of making all the circles the same color. All right, so this lesson is an interesting way to learn about random numbers and a quick way we can do it. And we can also review our previous work on loops and on RGB values and all that sort of thing. And we'll definitely be using it again in our dice rolling program and the homework excuser program, uh, which could be very useful for a lot of you. And that's going to be coming up further along in our course. All right. And that's actually the end of this lesson, but it's not quite the end yet. Okay, so remember our full Python programming course where lessons will be and those lessons will be there eventually for the dice and the homework excuse that we're adding to this lesson list all of the time is at passiworldofict.com and just click that Python button to get there. So thanks for watching this. Uh, I hope that this is going to help you progress with your Python program, review all the work we've done so far. And this is going to be probably the second last turtle one. And then after that, we're going to be writing some little sort of uh, games type uh, fun, just some fun little Python console program. So give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our totally awesome YouTube channel with the Python course on it and other uh, computer applications as well. And we'll see you in the next lesson. Lesson.